we are family. Hi, this is Rose Bryant here at Film Night at the MMB. And we are having a good time watching movies and just talking and networking. And right now I'm sitting here with the lovely Lisa McConnell. Hi Lisa, how you doing tonight? Hi. You the one coordinated this, right? Yes I did. Yes I did. Uh, I got together with my friends Kate and Bill Bellamy, uh, who own this restaurant. We put up the screen and decided to have a monthly film night here. And this month I decided to um, celebrate the females in the filmmaking industry uh, with just a couple of different filmmakers that I knew who really have made a difference in my life. And I just always want to, I don't know, promote and give back to the people who have helped me. So, um, Right, yeah, that's awesome, and, and that's good. It's a women's night, but the men are here supporting also. That's awesome. So tell us, what else do you do? Well, I'm an actress. Uh, I'm also a film producer myself. Um, that's why I um, I waited until the end, but I um, I showed the trailer for my film, Damaged, that I just I, I have out on the uh, film festival circuit right now. And it just got accepted into its first film festival out in San Diego, the Indie, Fil uh, Indie Fest Awards. Wow, uh, that's so awesome, Wade. Yeah. Across the country. Yeah, so between that and acting, I'm actually, uh, I have a I have a film role down in Miami in a week and a half, uh, another lead role. And I just did, a, um, I just shot a film up in Atlanta uh, where I had the lead role in that. So I got some exciting stuff going on. Oh yes, you do. Good. Yes, you do. So you have to be my friend too because, you know, you go in there, you go up in high places, and you know, people in high places look at this lovely restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> and I was uh, so we're connected on Facebook, so I would certainly be keeping up with you and, and what's going on, and can continue to come out and, and enjoy the film night with you guys and support too as well. So thank you so much for your time. No problem. Thank you so much for coming. Really, I, you know, this this was this was the first month we've done this, so we plan to make it bigger and better. We, I I I, I took this as a learning experience because I all I also do um, Mount Dora Indie Film Night, which is twice a year over at the um, Mount Dora Community Center, and it is a larger event that I do that has 600 seats and a big auditorium in it, like a big theater, um, and that went over really well in January. Had it on my birthday, so I knew that all my friends would show up for my birthday party. Um, and <laughs> so uh, we did that, but I'll be doing it again in July. Um, but basically, it's just just it's a learning process. I'm just trying to bring film and television to the area and inform people of what's going on and what kind of opportunities we have going on here. So. Absolutely, and it seems that a uh, 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 person like you, a woman like you, you, you help bring that to the area. So you, you, you're a part of that building the film area in Central Florida. That is so awesome because we really need it. Because this was supposed to be Hollywood East and it got hung up in Atlanta. So I'm just glad to know people like you are still on the ground trying to make it happen here in Central Florida. And I, so now that we're connected, I certainly will be attending your indie film nights as well. Well, thank you. Thank you so much. And thank you thank you very much for coming. I I just, I, you know what, I'm just so happy I get to hang out with my friends tonight. Yes, awesome. <laughs> um, so what can people find you on the um, social media? Well, my name is Lisa McConnell, and I'm, I have a professional page. It's Lisa McConnell, uh, actress and model. You can find me on Instagram uh, for a Lisa McConnell actress, and then I'm also on LinkedIn. You should be able to find me there too. Okay, so, awesome. Uh, oh, and I'm, Facebook, because I'm, I'm with you on Facebook. On Facebook, it's Lisa McConnell, and Lisa McConnell, actress and model. Uh, but, um, you know, I, I, always, I try very hard to always answer messages back. If anyone has any questions about the industry, uh, anybody wants, and I, I, I consider myself a mentor. I try to help anyone that I can if they want to try to get into the film industry. I'm all about just like helping people reach their dreams. Okay. So. Awesome. So I'll be looking forward to you to help me. I noticed you said, well, we got a lot of the same actors. I'm really trying to get in there. You know, I've been following some, being extra and others. You know, I played dead in DNA. So. Oh. I was in DNA. I was, a lizard. I was Elizabeth. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay, I was so. the, I was the one who almost drowned in the bathtub. I should have taken swimming lessons before I went. <laughs> okay. <laughs>
<laughs> it certainly has been a pleasure, Lisa. So we'll be we'll be, we'll be in touch. So thank you so much, and it'll be an opportunity to come around. I will definitely let you know. I'm posting castings all the time. So okay. Uh, watch my Facebook. I, I definitely will. Thank all you so much. Right. Hi, this is Rose Bryant, and again we're here at the Film Night MMB and watching films and you know just networking and getting together and right now I'm here with Denise Carey Costa. Hi Denise, I like that last name. <laughs> I made it up myself. <laughs> <laughs> this is just cute. What do your husband think about that? <laughs> you decided to adapt to it too? <laughs> yeah, he's, he's good with it. Oh okay. yeah. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about what you do in the film industry. Well, to sum it up, I am a documentary film producer, a screenwriter, uh, a producer. I've kind of done a little bit of everything um, other than directing. I haven't tried my hand at directing yet, so maybe in the future. Yeah, I think you'll be awesome with just you know, didn't know you tonight. <laughs> You're so full of talent. <laughs> oh, thank you. And you know uh, the guy there, he's like, you think you can do it, do it. Don't let nobody tell you you can't do That's it. That's right. If I say you tell me no, I will do it. <laughs> exactly. So Denise, tell us where we can connect with you on social media. Uh, you can find me on Facebook at Denise Carey Costa. You can find me on Twitter. And you can also find me on Tumblr, Pinterest. I post a lot on those sites as well. Awesome. You've got more than me. <laughs> I got a Snapchat, but I don't know how to use it. I don't, I don't know either. I guess we snap and we chat. Hey, right? It was old school. That's right. <laughs> it was a pleasure to see you. Too. Thank, Thank you for your so time. Much. Yeah, have a great night. Thank you. You too. Cut. Hi, this is Rose Bryant, your Diva Lifetime reporter, and we're here at the Film Night MMB. Um, where there are a lot of filmmakers and actors, and we, we watch films. And right now, I'm here with... Rennell Golden. Hi, Rennell. Hi. How are you doing tonight? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Did you enjoy yourself? I did. It was great to see everybody's work. Yes, it was. I enjoyed the films. It was a truly a film night. So what do you do um, like uh, in the industry? I am a uh, writer, producer, and director. Um, I just recently completed my first feature for television, and that'll be out in the summer. That's awesome. I can't wait to see it. What channel will it be on? Um, I'm not sure if I'm allowed to say. I can oh, probably okay. give some hints. Okay. Um, it's an urban-based channel. Oh, does that okay. help? That narrows it down to like two, right? Right, right. <laughs> Maybe I three. Can, I mean, I think I might know one. You, you, you would. You uh, would. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. I can't, I can't wait to see it. I, I, it's a pleasure to meet you. Thank you. Thank you. So, where can people find you on social media? Uh, people can find me on Facebook, Rennell Golden, uh, screenwriter. I have a fan page, but I also have just my regular uh, page. They can find me Instagram, uh, Twitter, Golden Rennell. Um, they can go to my latest series, which is TranscendTVSeries.com, and all the social media connections are there. And, um, yeah, I, I, I'll friend you back if you reach out to me, so... I would yeah. definitely be reaching out. It was Yay! a pleasure to meet you. Thank you. It's great to meet you, too. Thank you. Hi. You're here with Rose Bryant, your Diva Lifetime reporter. And we're still here at Film Night at MMB. And I'm still connected and getting to know a lot of people in the film industry. So, so much talent in it just here at the restaurant, networking, sitting outside, eating. So having a blast. So right now, I'm here with... Hi, Sean. How you doing? Great. How are you? Good. I heard a little bit about what you said. That's awesome, you know, because I, I was bullied okay. as a kid, you know, so I'm passionate about that, too. And so uh, that touched my heart. And to hear you say, well, when people tell you you can't, then you do. Right. So what else do you do in the film industry? Well, um, right now we're going to be working on an anti-bully commercial. Um, it's featuring our new anti-bully sneaker that we've created. It's the first ever created. And so we're going to have kids who have been bullied or who have not been bullied and support the movement be in this project to showcase our sneakers and to make a difference. 
That is awesome. So if you need any help, just let me know. I'll try to connect with you. If you need some, I know this awesome little girl. She she followed direction well. She's very smart. She's in a gifted program, and I, she was in a movie with me. She's kind of like my granddaughter, but okay. just so <laughs> just That's so you Grandmother, I mean the granddaughter came out. Okay. <laughs> no, but she's not my okay. blood granddaughter, but she's like my granddaughter. Spiritual. Yes, but she's actually the sister of my granddaughter, so. Yeah, so she's very talented. So just say if you need somebody, I'm pretty sure you know a lot of people though. So what else do you do? Um, what I do is um, I have a movement which is called AMRAC. And what we do is we take individuals who have been bullied and give them opportunities to get their self-esteem built up by acting, singing, and dancing. And one of the locations that we have that we do something with kids is every month at the Winter Park Community Awesome. I wouldn't mind come volunteer my time to help you out. You know, then that, that's closer to me than here. <laughs> okay, <laughs> about Dora. And, and people, uh, Amorites is uh, turned around is karma. So watch that karma. You better watch how to treat people, okay? So um, tell us how that we can connect with you on social media. Absolutely. Um, contact us through uh, Amrite or uh, Sean Roberts. As well as um, we have a website which is amrakantibully.org, and then from there we also have a, uh, an app where you can download the app from the website, and that's just Amra. So pretty much uh, Facebook, Instagram, and our app. And basically, what, what we're doing is we're allowing people to get their self-esteem back. We're allowing people that are positive to help us build a community back up again. What we want is positive people, not so much focus on the fame and fortune, but actually want to make a difference in saving lives. Absolutely, yes. Yeah, people that coming from the heart. Right. So, yeah, so that's an awesome thing that you're doing. And I, I wish you much, much success in what you're doing. And I'm sure you're going to be blessed. I appreciate it. Yeah, God is, has taken us to a whole nother level. The, the experiences, the opportunity. We have an anti bull sneaker. And then we just, I forgot to mention, but we just got our own uh, phone charger. So we have our own anti-bully phone charger. Mm -hmm. So where can people purchase those items at? Okay, uh, what we're doing, uh, we're currently working on setting that up with the app. So you'll be able to buy our sneakers. Actually, our website is set up so you can purchase the sneakers. And what we're doing is we made the sneakers affordable for people who understand people and work under the budget and so on and so forth. So our sneakers are $69.99 with free shipping. And you can go to our website, which is www.amrac.bossmatic.com. And there you can purchase the sneakers. It's an amazing website that we set up. And it's really easy to uh, go there and get those sneakers. Um, we have shirts, we have wristbands. We have a lot of different things that we added to the mix, which is our uh, phone charger, that's another piece. So we're currently working on that and we're, we're added to the site as well. Awesome, awesome. That, that is so good. And I'll be promoting the website. So if the items on there, like the shirts and the sneakers, is this for kids and adults? or did it? Absolutely. It's for kids and adults and it's unisex. And um, we just want to get the word out there. And the reason why we, we created the sneakers is that we want people to take a stand for bullying. And we know that people get bullied for having certain types of sneakers. So we made a sneaker that's, that's affordable, it looks good, anyone can wear it from a kid to an adult. And um, you know, in order, in order to make a difference, you have to be the difference. And so one of the things that we did was create the sneaker and all those different things to get out there and help people feel good about themselves. And just to do what we were looking at the difference, just to change the world. That's awesome. That's People don't understand what bullying does. It's almost like the Chinese war and torture. Every day, you know, drip, 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 and every day you're tearing somebody down with your words, and and until you just, they don't want to be here anymore. So that is so much. That, I mean, I commend you. And it's really interesting. We we want you to be here. And hence of the word Amrak, <coughs> excuse me, is reversing how you feel. And so I tell people. I tell people that I talk to all the time is that as soon as someone says something negative to you, it's actually a plus. And, and the reason why I say it's a plus is because think about it. If you're in school and they constantly bother you, that means you're somebody. 
or at work, that means you're somebody. So if you prepare yourself and train your mind to think that you're going to be somebody based upon that, then you will be successful. I'm living proof of it. You know, people in the entertainment industry bullied me, but what I said was, I said, you know what, I'm not going to let it affect me. I'm just going to show you what I'm capable of doing. So that's producing films, producing commercials. Um, being on TV, being on radio. It's not to throw it in anyone's face. It's not to feed my ego. It's just to show you that you matter. And just like the video that you saw today, I wrote the song. The young girl sings it. She's 13. She put her soul into it. We want you to know that you matter. And that's pretty much it. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for your time. And like I said, I'll do all that I can. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much for the answer. Nice.